every other IPOE, I'm here at Kit Plus Show at the Oval with Jack from Audio Technica. Hi. Jack, this is an interesting product here. It looks like something out of Star Wars. Like yeah, it's, training it's, module. Not, it's not going to explode. No? Um, I'll, I'll start with that just to yeah. put everyone at, uh, at ease. Um, no, so this is this is our BP3600 product. Um, it was released last year um, and developed around the MotoGP. So it, it's, it was developed in an environment which um, is challenging to say the least. Um, the, the concept is um, that it's uh, a fully uh, immersive sound uh, microphone, eight distinct analog channels coming in from um, uh, microphones, eight separate microphones with very, very high dynamic range to be able to take in uh, the sound of 120 dBs plus motorbike going past as also the conversation um, and also the conversation from engineers working in the pit lanes as well as the crowd sound and and what you can really hear is that it really puts you in the event whatever event it is it might be a musical it might be a stage show whatever event that is it really puts you in that event immediately with some binaural processing um, which is what I'm showing here um, I've also got our um, Alan and Heath is a distributed brand of ours um, I'm running the CQ18T, which takes in the eight analog channels um, um, and then running into my binaural processing setup here um, and using the classic M50s um, to, to represent that uh, binaural processing. Um, and it really, it changes the sound of the room. Um, uh, of course, this, is, this would be usually, you know, like I suppose in, you know, when you're doing Atmos sort of recordings or anything like that. Yeah. And, and it's quite a fascinating design. What, what was, do you know whether or not, what, what the thinking was in this shape? Because obviously immersive, you want to get as many angles and then you want yep. to aggregate that into, I mean, th there's a technical challenge right there. Huge challenges. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the environment, MotoGP, incredible challenge. Um, think of it as eight corners of a cube. Um, what you've got is, is very, very directional microphones, um, uh, very robust microphones. Um, so you've got a pretty cohesive sound field that you're picking up from any direction. Um, and if you notice as well, although the shape of it is, is um, interesting, it's, it's a very small device. It's very lightweight. It's designed to be portable. It's designed to be uh, put in any environment uh, and not be uh, opposing for, for any users. So um, you should just be able to put this anywhere really um, and and get excellent results and because it's analog out whatever processing you've got is processing agnostic basically it works with the systems that you're using uh, as long as you've got phantom power to power the microphones you can you can use it with any of your pre-existing kit that you usually use for sound processing um, and what's interesting is your collaboration here with Digital Garage. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about that. How did that come to pass? Massive shout out to Digital Garage. Um, thank you so much for, for hosting us on this stand um, and giving us the opportunity to communicate to um, Kit Plus Show. Um, I think we're with, with Ordinate maybe, the, the only audio people here. So yeah, massive shout out to Digital Garage for letting us come, come and join them on the stand. Um, it started last year really. Um, they had an amazing project um, in Staffordshire University which is like an e-games uh, e -games environment, um, where really they looked at us for our Allen & Heath consoles. They put some Allen & Heath Avantis consoles on that project. In, in discussion around that, we also discovered that they needed some digital microphones, uh, digital wireless microphones. So we managed to get 3000D digital microphones on that project as well. Um, and we continue expanding that um, as, as time goes on. A very, very uh, challenging field is the esports e environment and obviously a massive growth area in higher education at the moment. So it's great to be working with Digital Garage because they're really at the forefront of that um, with new projects coming along all the time. So it's great to develop with them. And besides really, really fascinating projects like this and these, have you got anything, you know, in terms of spatial audio, anything like this on the on your roadmap do you see a growth in that in that side 100 percent um i was at the sports video group europe event last week um which focuses in on sports broadcast um the immersive and immersion um aspects of sports broadcast is really it's been here for a while but at the moment there's a real growth there um, and that's global um so this is going to play into that very very nicely uh, and i foresee working with Digital Garage and, and their, their customer base um, in collaboration. 
um, in hopefully growing that field as well, especially with their, with their presence in the higher education uh, market. Um, it's very, very much getting people as they're entering the industry. So hopefully that will, that will be very prevalent um, as time goes on. I mean, those verticals of gaming, I mean, you know, it, it just melts itself in, in that environment because you see at every university, they've got, you know, a team there and that's growing, but they're also using esports in terms of, um, for STEM education as well. And, you know, I can see like how certainly yourselves can play a pivotal role within that from the audio perspective. And it's good to see you're, you're creating products, you're forward thinking in terms of innovating, something like that. So it'd be interesting to see what, what else you, is down on, on the pipeline, what else is to come with? Absolutely, I mean, we're, we're developing all the time. Um, with events like MotoGP, there's a requirement to be inventive, to be able to have products that, when subjected to that harsh environment, can still operate. Um, when you develop products in that, Field, they're obviously applicable to, to almost any other. So, so yeah, absolutely. Expanding in there, in that field, really helps with all other sectors. Brilliant. Uh, absolutely. Jack, thank you very much for your time. It's I'm going to grab a word with the guys at Digital Garage. Perfect. See you soon.